I, I'm very happy to be talking to both of you because as a teenager, I saw, you know, the OC, Veronica Mars and all these things. And of course, this show, I feel very connected because I'm Jewish, Brazilian, very secular, been in similar situations to your characters. So I was wondering, what advice would you give if you were talking to your character that is facing this like fundamental, you know, difference in their relationship? What would be the advice you would give your character in this situation? Hmm. It's interesting because it's very individualistic. Like the 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 reason this show spans 10 episodes and the reason that's interesting to watch is because they don't know. There isn't a, a beautiful bow that you can see being wrapped up throughout the series. This is a very like muddy interpersonal exploration about relationships. And I think that it depends, each person has to sort of look inside themselves and decide yeah. what kind of sacrifices and, and commitments and compromises they want to make. And I don't say that as a negative, because if you're going yeah. to make those things, you should see a reward on the other side. And the reward would be the longevity of the relationship. But those are like big adult concepts that not everyone, even me, is always willing to uh, consider. It's easy for me, I wanna say like, go with love, man. Just like, go with love. Right, but, uh, but I didn't yeah. spend my whole life studying to be a rabbi. It's not my passion, it's his passion. And not only there's a question of would he have to give it up or not, but regardless, there's a question of can he really share that passion with someone? Would she wanna share that passion? And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess, uh, feel it out. Now, one thing I have to ask, because you're very close to podcasting. Uh, I mean, your husband, I think, have a huge podcast, right, Kristen? And Adam, growing up Jewish, like, did making, playing these characters made you appreciate more either the podcasting world or even, like, the rabbi, like, the, the religion uh, world? Like, having to live through this religion, sorry, through this profession and religion, did that make change your point of view on those worlds? I learned a lot. I mean, I I, um, I was bar mitzvahed, but basically at gunpoint, and I didn't learn anything uh, uh, at the time. And uh, I did, I had the time, because um, the, the writers and actors strikes happened between when I knew I had the show and when we filmed it, so I had a lot of time. And I learned a lot about Jewish history and religion and culture and, um, it's 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 very interesting, and I, I love having that knowledge. Now I see, I tr truly do see the world through a different, um, not perspective, I guess, but like context. Context. I I you know the the history of humanity is becoming a little more clear to me as I'm understanding part of the journey we've been on as a species and culture. I as not a podcast host, but living with a podcast host, I think I really did have a profound respect for how much uh, mental acuity it takes to create content. And also, you know, Erin Foster wrote this character, um, you know, based on her life, and she has a very provocative, open, honest podcast. And that takes a lot of energy, and it also takes, like, setting up some some or lack of boundaries in your mind ahead of time to say like, I am gonna be an open, honest book. Um, and I like to say that I'm that, but I don't think I'm anywhere close to where Erin is. So um, playing her was, was very fun.